What's up my gamers and welcome back to a brand new video. Yes, I'm aware it's been a while since my last upload, but trust me, I'm back for right now. Okay, okay, you don't have to remind me when the last Let's Play was, but come on guys, I'm really back for sure. You guys, I haven't really been active, but there's no excuse for that. Because as I said before, this whole of 2018, no excuses. There's no excuses for anything I do. No excuses at all. You know what? <clears throat> Fine, we're going to address this right now. How about that? What's up, my gamers, and welcome back to a brand new video. Yep, my voice changed a little bit. And, uh... Yeah, squeaky voice isn't really a thing now. So, over the years, I've had this thing where I upload a video, then take a month, then upload a video, then take a few months. It's come to the point where my subscribers pretty much expect me to go on break at some point during the year. I mean, I'm no stranger when it comes to that stuff. But at this point, I'm honestly sick and tired, and it's gotten ridiculous from my perspective. Now, if you guys don't know, or you don't watch any of my Let's Plays, the last one that I uploaded was in April. Let that sink in. The last video I that was uploaded to the channel was in June, and that was only an archive of a live stream. The last actual video that I made was uploaded in April. And yeah, I know, I'm the one to blame for all of that, but like, if I can be honest for a second, now then, I, I know I should have no excuse, and I really don't, but at some point in the middle of the summer during my break, I kind of started to realize something when it came to my YouTube career, and it was really unfortunate due to the views I tried to make everyone see when it comes to gaming, but I have to address this one way or another. Let's Play channels are dying. Now I know I'm not the first and I'm certainly not the last person to say something about Let's Play channels and death, but unfortunately it's the sad truth. It is now 2018. And Let's Play channels are dying out more and more just become gameplay channels that heavily rely on quick based comedy or poking at the game itself. Either that or just being loud and quirky. That's something that I've somewhat been known for, but wasn't really something I aimed to do. Now, will I change? Honestly, I'm not sure. I don't want to end up like the same thing that everybody else is because originality is key when it comes to YouTube, but at the same time, Let's Plays are all I've really known on the channel for a while. I mean, besides live streaming and every once in a while a little video or two, Let's Plays are the main focus of the channel, and that's what I've been driving ever since 2015. Well, 14 if you count my reboot. Now, what does this mean for the future of the channel? Honestly, I'm not sure. My intentions are in fact to finish Sonic Adventure DX as I've stated that in the past multiple times. But other than that, I'm honestly not sure. I still have to finish Sonic and Sega All-Stars Races mission modes, I still promise to do Mario Kart DS's mission modes, and I also promise to do Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. But is promising even worth it anymore? I mean, obviously I'll touch on those games at some point in the future because I'm not leaving YouTube, let's get that straight. But in what fashion would most suit you guys? That's where you come in. I kind of wanted to ask you guys, if I should continue doing the things I'm doing. Now I do have a few ideas and if you want me to continue on my channel just going off of what I think is good then that's great and you're actually giving me some time to flex out and see what works for you guys. But if you're okay with the Let's Play style, something that actually fits and suits your guys' opinions, that would be greatly appreciated if you just comment down below or vote in the tab, the little eye icon up there. Honestly, I'm sick and tired of people saying that too. But your opinion greatly matters to the future of this channel. Now, what were the ideas I had in mind? Well, whether you stuck around this far just to find out, or you just want to see what I have to say so you can poke fun at it, here are some of the things that I had to write, and, you know what, let's just get it over with, I don't really like doing this anymore that you guys like hearing it. Now, one of the ideas that I had was to become a YouTube gaming channel. Now, what does this mean? Well, you know the likes of Dash EXP, Corey Kenshin, people like that, they don't really follow a scripted series. Like, they'll play through a series, but they won't play the series. They'll just play because people request it or it's the next big thing, and they'll do that. But other than that, there's no 100% completion. Sometimes there isn't any completion, 
and they just do it for whatever makes their viewers happy or just to drive a few bucks but still that's not really something i want to see but if it's something that you guys want i'm glad to appease you another idea that i had was to just be a quirky reviewer that would go through video games as if it were his career obviously but what i mean is to play a few video games maybe make a few videos on them and talk about them with the viewers now of course this would mean more opinions out of me which geez people on youtube really don't seem to like opinions do they but that's not the point the point of it being that i would get through a lot more video games and a lot more of the games that you guys want to see quicker easier faster and at a rate that i could actually keep up with meaning that yeah sometimes it's going to be a week sometimes it's going to be a month but I'd still be able to get through more than one game at a time. Now, this still makes me sad because it means that I'm not going through the whole game with you guys, but that's where the plus one comes in. I could, as an alternative, play games live with you guys on a live streaming basis. Now, obviously, I'm going to have, like, you know, unlisted, sometimes private, and sometimes I'll just have them up for you guys to see if you really want them to. But if I do have them unlisted, obviously, they'll be in a playlist so you guys can find it if you're up for that type of thing now again it's up for your vote so i'm going to put the i right there you vote right now and find out what i have to say about my long hiatus now if you guys still have things to say in the comment section down below or even in the discord server you can check that i just plugged my discord server you can check that in the description down below i've linked all my little handles and stuff like that um feel free to hit me up and talk with the crew anyway about the hiatus i didn't really want to take a hiatus at first but slowly, more and more, I started to enjoy my summer. It was something that I actually liked a lot. Now, if you're unaware, my, most of my summers in the past haven't been perfect on YouTube, neither in real life. So, this year, I had a toss-up. Either I had the best summer in reality or the best summer on YouTube. One of them would make me happy, but the other one would just leave me depressed afterwards when I realized what I lost. Now, it was a hard decision, but ultimately I took a break in real life and got to sit back, you know, relax, play some games, and I got a job. Yes, I got a job, got paid, and I got some more equipment for YouTube and recording and stuff like that. Of course, I had to soundproof my room, so, you know, that's a thing. Ordered some more soundboards, but they won't be coming in so maybe next week you know the acoustic foam stuff and also my workspace needs to be expanded I just got a printer and that's here like literally taking up the whole space on the desk but that's nothing for you guys to know nothing for you to worry about that's basically what happened this summer I still planned on making YouTube videos in the middle of the summer but then I said eventually why I was already gone for a month in July and I realized What's the point? I might as well have just taken the whole summer off because in the middle of July I realized that I'd taken a month away from my actual job. Not the one that I had in real life, but the one that actually mattered to hundreds of people. Now sure, real life jobs are important too. They help finance things, they help make you happy and your family happy, but on YouTube, which is really the thing that I strive most to do, I make more than just one person happy. I make a couple of people happy at most. I like getting comments in the comment section talking about how the video makes people happy, which is something that happened more in the past, not so now, or something funny that people would point out in the video itself. Nowadays, people don't even comment much anymore, and if they do, it's either to say something generic or to poke fun at you, which is unfortunately how society has, well, you know, evolved. I don't like being a controversial type, but that's just how things go. Going back to the whole July situation, I just realized that it was better off me taking the whole summer off just to rethink what to do when I come back and to, you know, rework my values and stuff like that. Then I just come back with no game plan and just leave in the middle of winter or something like that. Now again, it's not a guarantee that I'm going to be staying after this. I might go on another break. I might go to make another video after this. I mean, I still gotta upload Amy's part, which is the final part, by the way. After that, I will be tackling Big the Cat. I just wanted to talk with you guys and let you know why I've been absent and what more you can expect from me. And, well, I just wanted to know what you guys would want from me. I like being a Let's Play channel, but it seems like those are dying these days. And I've come to accept that. Plenty of people have talked about it, and plenty of people have evolved along with it. 
a few YouTubers, PK Sparks, Kogana Mayu456, just to name a few, have already moved on from this formula a long time ago. Or if they didn't, they're doing it in a fashion that actually pleases the viewers that they still have. I don't want to keep on being a dead horse. So if you guys have any more ideas, or if you think any of the options I have right now work, just let me know in the comments or in the eye up at the top. Why do we have to get rid of annotations? Or in the eye at the top what you think I should do for the future. And if you guys, again, have any other options, you know, make funny skits or something like that. I was thinking about becoming an animator, but then I realized how much work that is, and especially with my social life, that's not really something I want to keep up with. But really, gameplay is just where I'm going to stay for right now. Let me know in the comment section down below. And not a guarantee, not a guarantee. I'm probably going to upload Amy's part next weekend. Not a guarantee. I'm not going to keep on lying to you guys. Peace out my gamers and if you have any thoughts or ideas let me know in the comments below. If you want to get on us a quirky action or just want to get in touch with me discord server down below. And with that I'll see you Thursday. You'll definitely see me Thursday. I'm live streaming.